Hello, and welcome to part two of creating a 3D transition overlay. In the first tutorial, we created our 3D transition. Now comes the easier part of using this fantastic effect in Video Studio. We're going first to use our 3D transition overlay to create an interesting intro. So let's add a video to the timeline. This will be the video that we will transition into so it's important that it's longer than our six second transition overlay. I'm going to use the video clips that are used in the sample project that comes with Video Studio 11. Let's add these sample clips to our library now. Click the load video icon and navigate to C program files, ULead systems, ULead Video Studio 11, samples, and video. Now while holding down the shift key select sample VO1 and sample VO5 and press open. Now drag the sample VO4 clip to our storyboard. Next, let's add our overlay mask. Click the timeline view icon. Now click the overlay track 1 icon. This will allow us to add our next clip directly to the overlay track. Now click the insert media files icon. Select transition overlay mask.avi and click open. Next, Right click on the preview window and select fit to screen. Now select mask and chroma key. Select apply overlay options and change the overlay color to white. Now let's change to project mode by clicking the project icon and preview our work. Did you notice how the transition blinked right at the end? In case you missed that, I'll slow it down and play it for you again. See that? This is because our mask zooms off screen. So what we'll need to do is trim a few frames from the end of the overlay mask. Let's go back into clip mode by clicking the clip icon and select the overlay track clip. Now click the edit tab and press the end key on your keyboard. This will take us to the end of the clip. Now, by clicking the previous icon, let's go backward until we see the screen fill with our white mask. Now select the F4 key, which will mark out our clip so that it ends here. This doesn't change the original video, just how we're using it for this project. Alright, let's save the project by pressing Ctrl S and name it Transition Mask. Now press Ctrl N to begin a new project. Since this is going to be used as an introductory transition, let's add a black color clip to the beginning of our project by going to the gallery and selecting color. Drag the black color clip to the beginning of the video track. Select the insert media files icon and select the project that we just saved, transitionmask.vsp. Now click the overlay track icon. Next, click the Insert Media Files icon and select our 32-bit overlay video, transitionoverlay.avi. Next, drag the transition overlay clip to the right so that it aligns with our project clip on the video track. We could preview our project now, but let's wait and first learn how to use this effect in the middle of a video project. Press Ctrl S to save our project and name the file Transition Intro. Next, press Ctrl N to start a new project. First, add the sample VO5 video clip to the timeline. Now click the Overlay Track 1 icon. Click on the Insert Media Files icon and select the Transition Mask.vsp project. We'll now want to drag our overlay video clip so that we have a 6 second overlap for the transition. Remember that our 3D transition overlay is 6 seconds long and in order to get a seamless transition from one video to another without any black showing in the background we need to use all 6 of those seconds. Since our underlying video, that is sample VO5, is 12 seconds long we can move the transition mask so that it starts at 6 seconds. Now let's resize the clip to fit to screen and apply the mask and chroma key. In this instance, we'll want to keep black as our overlay color and also set the similarity to zero. This will confine our overlay color to pure black. Now 
Now let's add another overlay track by selecting the Overlay Track Manager icon. Select Overlay Track Number 2 and click OK. Now click the Insert Media Files icon and select our 32-bit overlay video, Transition Overlay.AVI. You'll notice that it has been added to our timeline on Overlay Track 1. Now you may wonder why I didn't have you click on the Overlay Track 2 icon and insert the video there. The reason is, even if we were to do that, Video Studio will still insist on inserting the clip to Overlay Track 1. So we'll just have to move it to Overlay Track 2 ourselves and align it so that it snaps in place with the beginning of our overlay mask. Also, let's resize it so that it fits to screen. And that's it! We're done! I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and that you've learned something that you can use in your future projects. Also, drop me a line and let me know what you would like to see in a tutorial. Until next time, have fun and be creative!